Hello and welcome back to my channel, Jordan Mind, Body, and Soul, where we learn to take care of ourselves, mind, body, and soul. And as you already know from the title, this video is going to be like a stretch or yoga routine that's going to help with emotional release and also help with some emotional clarity, but it's also going to help you learn to relax your hip flexors. So let's get started. So one thing that I just always try to tell people is that our body is very, very, very reactive and responsive to anything that we engage in, anything we encounter. And we do store a lot of emotions and trauma and just tension in different areas of our body. Now, once you learn to focus on these areas and release tension in these areas, not only will you feel better, but you'll also feel the combination of mind, body, and soul alignment we will start feeling more relaxed. So for starters, we're gonna get into child's pose first. So I'm just gonna come here. This is, a, this is always a good grounding pose. We're also gonna end with child's pose. But we're gonna ground ourselves here. I'm gonna fold over. Now you can come as far down as you can. Sometimes I tuck my um, hands behind me. Sometimes I bring them in front of me. But come down as much as you can. And this is the time to start thinking about what you want to get out of the practice. And you stay down, but I'm just showing you. Focus on your hip flexors. So your hip flexors are like right here. Throughout this practice, try to focus on your hip flexors and how they're feeling because the ultimate goal is to release and to relax your hip flexors. But I feel like if you either don't know where they are or if you don't know how they usually feel, you may not feel a difference. So let's, let's make sure we're being intentional. Focus on your hip flexors. We're gonna stay in child's pose for a few more seconds. And then from the child's pose position, we're gonna graduate into frog. So all frog is, is almost like child's pose, except for your legs are gonna be apart. There are some people that like to let their toes touch, so your two big toes touching, and then you can come down in the center. Or you can do the same stance without your toes touching. So it'd be like here and then coming back as much as you can. I prefer my toes touching because I feel it more in my hip flexors that way. So we're gonna spend a few seconds here. and slowly start to lift up with me. Next, we're gonna go into a one-legged frog. So I'm gonna start by dropping my right leg back first. Oof, I feel it in my hip flexors here. And you wanna focus on coming up as much as you can 
the goal is to always be comfortable you don't want to be uncomfortable you don't want discomfort um you want to feel your stretch but you you don't want to hurt yourself either Good job. And now we're going to exchange legs. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. So I'm going to bring my left leg down and right leg out. nice and tall and try to be proud here so you want your shoulders to be rolled back you don't want to be slouching forward you want your shoulders back head up and support it <sighs> stay here for a few more seconds And then from here, we're going to roll into our back and then we're going to go into a figure four pose. So I just rolled on my back, guys. <laughs> I like to keep life easy and simple for us. And then figure four. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the uh, left side. So I'm going to bring my left leg or left foot on top of my right thigh. And then I'm going to lift up my right leg. I'm going to hook on, deep breaths, okay. and for your figure four, it's okay if you have to start off here, right? It's okay if you're here and you feel a good stretch. It's okay if you're here and you feel a good stretch. Oh, <laughs> But if you can come further, you can even lock your arms underneath and bring it closer. Just whatever's going to help you get a good stretch. But again, focus on that hip flexor. Deep breaths. And then even depending on how you're feeling, this just came to me. You can even rock. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, because I felt it on that hip flexor. Bring it to the other side. How's your day going? <laughs> I said that like I'll hear your response. I won't, but you can pretend that I hear it. Cause I care. I care about your day. I'm gonna switch it over to the other side. So I'm gonna, again, Drop the right leg down, drop the left leg down, cross the right leg over, and then bring the left leg up. And you'll also find that one side may be tighter than the other, or one side, like I said, may need to be stretched longer than the other side. I like walking you guys through this video just so you have an idea of different stretches you can do. That's why I like to like talk you through it, but um, don't feel like you have to do the same exact time or the same uh, exact number on each side until you're balanced, which very few people are 100% balanced on each side. You're going to have different needs and the more you practice, you'll know what each side needs.
And please remember to be kind to yourself. Anything you're feeling, anything you're thinking, anything you're going through, it's just a point of time. And if you continue to stretch and take care of yourself and practice different things that I um, offer for Wellness Wednesdays, you can get the full. Oh, take it off. The beautiful light. And we're in so much more control than it feels like. Sometimes it doesn't feel like we have any control at all. But you do. You do. So next, I'm going to drop into <laughs> one of my favorite yogis likes to call this the birthing pose. I haven't created a name for it yet. But all I'm doing is, for starters, for some people, they may have to go like this first. Bring your knees together and then drop down to the sides. Feet touching, the soles of your feet are touching. And then I also feel like a deeper stretch, a really good stretch um, in this stance when I also bring my arms above my head. I feel like my, my body's like elongated and I can feel my spine just release, which also helps the hip flexors release. The other day when I was stretchy in this position and I was doing another practice uh, centered around um, emotional release because um, I know people say I, I talked to a, um, a uh, one of my previous clients that I had and she loves like researching and like discovering different things about horoscopes and she, uh, she's a Sagittarius. And she said, women mostly, but she said, especially Sagittarius, carry a lot of tension in our hips. And the other day I did this stretch and I literally like, I felt a tear shed. And I didn't even know why, like, I'm like, I'm not sad, I'm not upset, <laughs> but I feel better. I'm hoping you're having a similar experience. And lastly, we're gonna go ahead and stretch our hamstrings. So how I'm doing this to still get a hip stretch is I'm keeping one hip flexor or one leg bent at a time. So out of the birthing pose, all I'm gonna do is bring my right leg straight up. And here you can use a, a, um, a hoop or you can use a uh, yoga stretch band, you can use a towel or you can use a yoga block too if you have one. I'm going to put it right on my calf and I'm going to push it a little bit closer to me.
and make sure you're taking your deep breaths. Don't hold your breath in these stretches. It's so easy to hold your breath, but don't, don't. It's gonna make you more intense. You're gonna find yourself tensing up if you hold your breath. So try to relax as much as you can. If you need to release it some, release it some, but don't, don't hold your breath. And the more and more you stretch, and the longer you hold it, you may find that you can go a little deeper. When you find that, listen to your body. Allow yourself that stretch. You deserve it. And I'm just gonna switch to the other side. I'm gonna drop the right leg down first so I can have that hip flexor open. I'm gonna put my left leg nice and straight. Don't judge me, this hamstring's not as flexible. No judgment zone. Your mat is always a no judgment zone. and release. Now, to end this session out, I'm going to recommend that you spend some more time in child's pose. So spend some more time here. So you can go back to your foundation, um, your foundational grounding pose, but also so that you can feel the difference. When I first started and I was in child's pose, like it felt literally like my hamstrings and my hip flexors were like a rubber band that's like wrapped all the way to capacity. Like if you wrap it one more time, it was going to pop. And as I navigated through these stretches, not only did I feel like emotional release and it kind of allowed me to open up just how I was feeling and also relax my mind, I felt like the rubber band unraveled. So I'm hoping the same sensation occurred for you. Um, if you have more time, then I do want you to spend more time here um, in child's pose. I also recommend if you do have time to implement your meditation at this time. But other than that, the overall goal of this video was to inform you about some stretches you can do that's going to help with emotional release in your hip flexors um, and help you relax, but also to serve as a point of reference. Anytime you're trying to educate or learn your body and deepen your understanding, I want to be there to help you um, with just some techniques that work for me. So you guys let me know out of the stretches that we did today, which one was your favorite? <laughs> which one do you need to do some more work in? Because y'all seen my, my hamstrings are disappointing. <laughs> but I'm working on it and that's all we can do. Um, as always guys, don't forget to take care of yourself, mind, body, and soul. Hydrate, grab some water, and get ready to enjoy the rest of your day. You got this. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.